Hey team, Rob here, welcome to the video. Today something really different. Today we're going gravel pesting. Got the specialized crux out. Got the gravel tires on, the specialized tracer and a 42 on the front. A specialized pathfinder and a 38 on the rear. Fully loaded, got all the tools and supplies in the saddle bag. Got food, drinks, everything I can need to fuel myself in the front bag. And we're gonna head out to the little river along the Christchurch Little River Rail Trail. So we're just gonna start here, just over there, the Barrington uh, Motorway Overbridge. And we're gonna use bike paths all the way to Lincoln, then on the rail trail to the Little River. Have a bit of a break at the uh, train there in the Little River and then head back again. So it's probably going to be sort of a four or five hour ride. It's a wee bit blustery today, but I'm just going to cruise. Temperature's looking alright, a little bit of cloud cover. So let's get going. So the first part of the ride is going to be a wee bit stop study, crossing over all the white paths. So right, we're just cruising, not trying to see any, any KOMs, fastest known times, land speed records. Nice uh, overcast Monday, and we're just going to ride out to the little river and back. That's uh, the only goal. I've had, <laughs> for a lot of people it's probably not a big achievement. Especially when you compare it to their activities of donation and legends like that. But uh, for me, not overly fit. Uh, 100k's, it's a good goal. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go out and do it. Obviously, got Strava running so we can record the effort. is the majority of it is actually off main roads and you're on bike paths so obviously I'm not going to film the whole thing because it's going to be about five hours we'll check in periodically or any major intersections now for quite a lot of the ride we're right beside the main road this one here Christchurch Southern Motorway which we're going to follow for quite a while out to uh, Springs Road. We're actually going to follow it even longer into basically Preble'ton. And then get to the Preble'ton, go left, and yeah, bike path to Lincoln. And then you're into the gravel after Lincoln. A little bit of seal on River Road. But yeah. Cruise alongside Wigram Road, go over this overbridge you can see here in the distance, and then drop down 
under the Christchurch Southern Motorway bike path. Wiggenham Road here. See the sign for Prebleton. Pretty sure that wee purple circle is the uh, code for the rail trail. And of course that's what we're doing. Now for a five hour-ish solo ride, being alone with your thoughts is probably pretty scary. So, I've got my trusty shocks bone conducting headphones on. The great thing about the shocks is they don't go in your ears, they go in front of your ears and literally inject the music straight into your head. So they're not, uh, they're not impairing my hearing. So if there's, especially uh, on the road, if you're listening for cars behind you, you can hear them. So they're really good. We're going to blast along the Southern Motorway bike path for a while until we get to the Springs Road turn off. Alright, just about made it to the turn off here on Christchurch Southern Motorway. Go down a little dip in a second under the motorway, pop out on the other side. We'll be riding on the other side of the motorway for a while before we turn off left to head into Prewilton. Right, I'll check in at the Prewilton turn off. Just uh, at that hedge on the left there, just this side of the big crane, kind of the end of the bike path as far as riding beside the motorway goes. So we're going to hook left and we're going straight into Brebleton. From Brebleton, there's a little bit of riding on the road and then get back on the bike path to Lincoln. Cars crossing the road. Riding glasses on today. These are really good glasses because of the photochromic lenses. They automatically darken and lighten depending on light conditions. So uh, even though it was completely overcast today, which is sort of clearing up, glasses have been mint. Oh. If you haven't tried some jewelbos, go try a pair on for yourself. I think you'll be impressed. So once you're in Prebleton, uh, all you need to do is follow these signs. Uh, they weave through a few suburbs, streets, so you've got to keep your eye out. I missed that one, went around the block, but uh, yeah, follow the signs. It's not super well signposted 
uh, in Christchurch itself. But once you get to Prebleton, that's when the signs really start taking hold. Yeah, the little purple signs. You've got to keep your eyes peeled. Sign to the right. Lift. <laughs> if you're trying to do this fast, coming this official way is probably not good for your uh, average speed. I'm not going for any records, I'm just going for the achievement. Feeling when I come home, I'm just gonna go the real direct route. <laughs> but on the way out, we'll take the official way. Right now, yeah, this is where the Prebleton to Lincoln Rail uh, bike path starts. There we go, rail trail sign. So we're just going to blitz down here, out to Lincoln, and that's where we'll pick up. Alright, just rolled into Lincoln. It's a bit sunnier. Maybe a bit windier, both of which can go away. So just roll through the suburb of Lincoln, then onto the rail trail. Right, eh? Basically, ride all the way through Lincoln, and you see this rail trail sign onto Lifey Springs Road. So turn right onto Lifey Springs Road up onto the bike path in a second. Now we're about to hit our first gravel. Remember to keep your eyes out for the purple rail trail signs. See one up in the distance there, turning into the park. Cool. Right over the bridge here. Right onto the gravel. Rail trail out here to the right. Here I 
we get to the end of this path, we turn left onto this gravel road. The wind's picking up a wee bit, but we're just cruising. Moyers Lane, just looking for cars, no cars, straight head onto the rail trail. Righto, after that taster of gravel, we're back onto River Road on the Tar Seal for a little bit. Uh, so we just follow the little uh, river road until we get to the main rail trail turn off where it's gravel all the way to the little river and back. So we're going to have something to eat, keep the fuel tank topped up. Yeah, see you at the start of the real gravel. Righto, we have now reached the uh, end of the river road Tarsil and the start of the rail trail where it is gravel all the way to the little river. So let's check on a few stats. Let's open up the old Strava. So we are one hour, eight minutes in. Basically 27 Ks. Average speed 23 kilometers an hour. So that's not bad, not bad. So yeah, probably another hour or so out to the little river and yeah, sun's out. A little bit windy, but uh, let's uh, keep going. Righto, onto the real gravel. So we ride along this path to Mochkarara, and there's a little bit of gravel road. To, then you get to the Mochkarara train station, and then from there, you're really. Motokarara is a little, well, Beerling's flat and then Beerling's flat, a little river all the way out to the train because if you don't go out to the train you haven't really done the rail trail and then our home again <laughs> so this part of the trail here is quite windy, you go over a few bridges make a few turns Each section of the trail has its own character. So that's to get past Mach Carrara. They're just basically big long straight drags. This part's quite interesting. A bit bumpy. Kind of double track. Riding through the countryside. tight corners so this early stage the gravel you can't just grip it and rip it and keep your eyes up see what's coming there are a couple of bridges you have to turn over at 90 degrees a bit of information about the area and uh, you definitely want to be keeping an eye out for anyone coming in the other direction This last thing you want is a head-on collision combined 40 kilometers an hour or something.
getting close to Mocha Carrara. Got this bit of a real gnarly, thick, deep gravel road. And now uh, here comes the truck. <laughs> so we're gonna be getting off. <laughs> Looks like a rubbish truck. But we don't need that. So we're just gonna ride up the grass till we get past it. Alright, just rolling into Mosh Carrara to the old train station. And we are gonna have a five minute break on this old bench here. Old rolling stock piece of original train track <sighs> obviously got to get the uh, photo out in front of the train station Right, so from here, Little River, 22 k's. And we are... 34, can you see that? I don't know, 34 k's, hour 30. So we're 22, that'll get us well over the 50. Have a break in the Little River, and then, uh, yeah. We just gotta come back again. That'll be right. So we'll have a bite to eat, do a battery change on the GoPro, let the legs rest up a wee bit, head out to the little river. Let's change the GoPro battery, protein bar, have a gel, a couple of sports beans, and then we'll head out to the little river. Righto, back on the track. Mach Carrara. The little river, approximately 22 k's according to the sign, so probably about an hour. So we'll sit in at a bit of medium pace and just cruise out there. So the rail trail isn't exactly what I would call a uh, easy ride or an exciting ride because <laughs> once you're onto this bit it's just big long straight stretches and the gravel's quite chunky so you've got to be on your uh, on your toes and keep an eye out for what's happening oh, there is some interesting scenery the main road's just over there if you're heading out to the little river or over to Akaroa Lake Ellesmere's out that way, which we'll see shortly. But uh, it's definitely a, I know a lot of guys use it as a training ride for gravel races and adventure rate. Friend and fellow Squid Ambassador Adam Morris rode this a lot when he was training for uh, Edition Zero Gravel. Joe Nation and Rufus Wenlock use this a lot their outrageous rides to a Waipanamu and other associated madness but uh, we're just doing it because I've always wanted to ride from my house in Christchurch to the little river and back I've ridden from my house to Mocha Carrara and back I've ridden from Lincoln to Little River and back. I never town to Little River and back. So taking advantage of uh, being on holiday, crank work's been cancelled, 
So let's do this adventure ride where I've got a few days to recover and I've got basically all day to do it. So we're not in a rush. Just want to get home in one piece without dying. <laughs> few gates just to deal with the wall off, keep the good things in and the bad things out. It's coming up to one of the many little bridges that cross sort of creeks. From memory there's a much bigger one coming up shortly. There we go, we're just rolling up to the edge of the lake. Whoa, soft gravel. All right, edge of the lake just there. Looks like tides out. Coming up to another one of the bridges. Over the river, down the other side. And uh, we will carry on. Just coming up to Burling's Flat. In the last K or so, the track very headwindy and uh, big patches of soft gravel. So it's really been hurting the average speed so far. That's all right. Just chucked it down a couple of gears. Just soft pedaling. There's still a long way to go. Just up by that fire warning sign, it's the Birdlings Flat turn off, but we're going past that because we're going a little rip. Looking around for cars, no cars. Couple of times I thought, ah, oh, we might just turn back, but I got time. We'll be alright, just cruising, just cruising. Edwin's getting pretty bad going up the valley beside the lake already. Uh, which is good for coming home, but we were bad for going out. But it's alright, we'll just slowly, slowly crank away. No stress. Alright, just made it to the uh, bottom of the lake, I guess. And the uh, headwind heading up up there, which is where the little river is, is uh, real annoying. <laughs> so I've stopped for a couple of minutes just to let the legs rest. Had to change it down a couple of gears and really just gently spin because we're not even at the turnaround point and I'd really quite like to make it and get home. So we're just taking our time. 
because uh, as long as I'm home by tea, <laughs> there's, there's no drama. But uh, yeah, the wind is quite nice taking the, the uh, temperature down, but it's making the going hard. So, I'm gonna crack on, see how it goes. Little oh, river, let's go. So just roll past the three k's to go to get into the little river, which is pretty good. The headwind is still bad. Uh, not as bad now that we're getting into these sort of trees over the lane. But uh, yeah, definitely starting to feel it. Hopefully that uh, wind that was hindering us on the way out helps us on the way home, because I'm going to need it. All right, see you in a little bit. Cicadas around here are crazy loud. Park up at the train for a wee bit, have a rest, have something to eat, have a stretch, and we'll think about heading home. Sports things. Got a bumper bar. 
put a rebel in there for later. Got a fresh bottle of electrolytes. So we'll get the empty one out. Put the fresh one in. Have some water with lunch. Probably have a 10 to 15 minute break. Eat, relax, stretch, and then head back. Righto, just about to head home. So we're here and we need to go wee all the way somewhere into there. <laughs> so got some stats. Currently we are 56.9 Ks. So it's fair to say we got that to go home. Uh, I'm probably not gonna vlog a whole heap on the way home you've seen everything that is on the way out uh, and I'm just going to concentrate on getting home so we'll check in at all the chicken pots and uh, see how we go but uh, yeah time to get home, going home all right just checking in 80 k's deep just left Mach Carrara train station on the way home on the task seal for a little bit before we get back to some gravel and then it's kind of tasty all the way home so uh, that last like three or four k's to Mach Carrara was not feeling well uh, the wind was real bad and it's hot so it's had 10 minute break at Mach Carrara and uh, yeah hopefully it's easier on the way home from here Whew. I've just made it uh, to the river road gate that's over there so basically from here uh, it's mostly tarmac all the way home I'm at 86 k's I reckon it's gonna be about 112 to get home so less than 30 <laughs> oh, just keep plugging away we'll get there we'll get there Oh, no, just rolling back into Lincoln. Oh, I tell you what, we are ready to be done. <laughs> but we're still going to get back into town. So, yeah, definitely just slow and steady on this one. <gasps> we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh. All right, that is all the gravel done. Just got tar seal to go. Have another break here in Lincoln. Oh, this is uh, this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Oh wow! Whether it's the heat or the wind or both or but yeah, it's tough. We're getting there. Not long to go now. Let's see where we're at, K's wise. 93 and a half it's probably about 20 k's to go wow this is tough <laughs> all right let's uh, have a break and then keep moving oh it's ripple time yee probably about 8 k's from home and it is hard. It's uh, maybe the hardest been all day. Luckily, we're on the tar seal, so we just gotta grind our way home, and that'll do. This ride has taken way longer, and it's been way harder than I would have liked it to have been. But uh, it's been a long time goal to do this. So once it's done, I probably don't have to do it again. <laughs> So we're almost there, almost there, not much to see. I'll see you back at uh, the park where we started in a bit. Well, I've done it, back to where I started, 113 k's later, like six hours, way longer, and way harder than I would have liked it to have been, but uh, that's what it was. Oh, so. 
Uh, yeah, no, that was uh, the wind was terrible. Trails uh, a bit tough. There were some very soft spots of track all along the way. It wasn't so bad when I got back to the Tar Seal, but then the wind really picked up from uh, Lincoln back to Addington. Really, it was bad from Hornby to Addington, but grounded out and we're done. Bike's pretty good, can't complain. Specialized tires are excellent. Fortunately, found a water fountain out on Birch's Road or whatever it is at that new sports ground, so I topped up my water bottle, so that was lucky. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for joining me on this one, team. It's uh, been pretty different. Uh, yeah, would have liked to have been at the park preparing for Crankworks, but uh, you know how things go. Sometimes it just isn't like that. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for being here. Like if you've liked, subscribe, see us the next one. Till next time team, ride on.